How's it going and welcome back to Zeldude's Play Skyward Sword HD. This time, uh, chores, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> we woke up in this crusty bed and oh, I'm an idiot. I can't even clean her house. Oh, you can't even get your vacuum I, out, yeah. Yeah, I of course. can't even. Okay, well, we let's do that ourselves. first. Yeah, we got the cursed metal at the end of the last video and because of that, we can't even have our shield or anything out because we're literally, wait, oh, but you can. Now it works. Oh. Or oh no, it won't let me replace. Oh items. no, it's the oh. adventure. Pa no, it's just the adventure pouch you can't open, right? So it's like the bottles and things like that. Wait, then why didn't it let me clean the house? It literally wasn't working. Really? Um. Yeah. See. Oh, weird. Yeah. It just maybe you have to talk no. to her first to use items in the house or something. Oh, maybe. Oh. Uh, true. Yeah. I can't remember if you if you can. There use you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You right, do. Cool. You're right. Okay. Nice. Never mind. Um, so now let's clean our house real quickly because also that will give us the exact amount of rupees or at least enough rupees to um, to upgrade our shield, which is what I really want to do. That's exactly. what this will all be for. this will be worth it because, dear viewer, you'll be staring at this shield for the rest of the LP until we get <laughs> the Hylian <laughs> shield at the very end. So yeah. might as well make it the nicest shield for you to stare at. Uh huh. I mean, a part of me doesn't even want to get the Hylian shield. I have to. What am I saying? It's I the think Hylian at least, shield. At least for the demise fight, we, we have to do it with the Hylian shield. But yeah, maybe we can true. put it off until the very end. Yeah, because I'm not looking forward to it. And it's the, pretty much the last thing you can do. I mean, it wants you to pretty much beat every single boss. Uh, and definitely make sure you do it before the demise fight. Because if you attempt to do it after, uh, you demise can be a part of... Also... Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> this right. is a, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't think Pippin doesn't would know. Be too happy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I like right. how we both thought of the same thing. Like, <laughs> okay, wait. Is this not enough? Like, oh. what am I missing? Oh god, we gotta knock this stuff off. <laughs> or maybe she just wants to. <laughs> 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 All right. I, I, uh, she's I doing a little extra. Did she, okay, let's just speak to her. I thought she would say something. Yeah, all when done. all the oh, all done. Uh, no, she's huh? not happy with it. I guess I missed. Oh, I did miss a spot. Oh, Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, she yeah. won't let me. She. Oh, you have to literally. This is really weird. How you have to speak to her to use the item. There we go. I literally yeah. missed a little spot, and the, her <laughs> dirty ass was like not good enough. Like you should be happy with what I did. So give me the money. I didn't do this for free, woman. <laughs> well, pay up, Matara. There we okay, go. There you go. Yeah, Matara. So like, that's, that's a bird. If that's a bird name, I don't know that one. So, so um, is that Malara? Malara. Yeah. Oh, of course, Mallard is like a duck. Um, no, there you you'd go. You'd think That's it would be like one. some dirty. They should have named her after. If there is like some dirty bird, it would have been pretty hilarious. Um, True. But yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> but okay. Um, but yeah, now we've, uh, we've got a little bit of moolah. Let's. Uh, we got literally, like I said. Let's, let's dump the just over enough straight away. Because mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no need for that. Yeah, it's if anything, just getting annoying. Uh, but yeah, we literally have like yeah. five rupees over the amount we need to. Um, to upgrade our shield, which is what I needed, especially after the last video where I gambled all my rupees for literally nothing in return. I mean, I, I came yeah. I came out of it in the negative, so. It's fine. I think if we go back and gamble more money, there's no way we lose again. <laughs> yeah, right? right? That's like, <laughs> the odds, like, will be in our favor by the, like. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Said every gambler ever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay. Uh, no. But yeah, let's uh, return to Farron again, specifically to to farm a bird. Um, mm -hmm. Quick pit stop. You know, I, I, just, I just gotta do it. You know, I, I need to upgrade the shield. Actually, can I? Whoops. I don't know why I was gonna try to. No, no. Okay. I was okay. gonna try it and see if I can have my shield out now, which probably makes no sense. Also, Ooh, here we go. this is it. Orange rupee. Woo! Hey. No. Oh, is that a red rupee? That's fine. It's still good. Yeah. It's yeah, it's still pretty good. Is orange are, are orange rupees in this game as well? Ah, uh, actually, don't know. No. Um, do they, what do orange rupees give you, anyways? Um, orange, uh, like 
two hundred. It's in the hundreds, oh, okay. right? You get yeah. silver, gold. They they they're the highest usually. Was that then. something they added in the Wind Waker? I don't remember it being an Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. Uh, I actually can't remember. Um. Oh, I wanted those as well. You could sell for some pretty good money on the black market. Oh, true. Yeah. You know, From here, you, you belong to Stritch. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, so I, I, I landed in the wrong area. No, actually, I would land in Lake Floria, which just takes me. So I, I landed where I landed before to farm those. Um, those yeah, birds. they're right up here, right? Mm -hmm. Open up into the little clearing and then. Yep. Here we are, the hunting grounds. Uh, I guess while we're here, we'll do the goddess cube as well. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, worth doing. Okay. No! No. I, I like the way the impatient. music gets gets quieter. Yeah, when yeah. When you get That's a nice subtle one. thing, yeah. Okay. Just gotta be patient. They'll come back. I mean, it's a beautiful view anyways, but there we go. There okay. we are. Okay. All right. Patience is key, which I sometimes lack. Okay. Just get as close as possible to where even if I startle it. There we go. Perfect. Hey, there we go. All right. I'm not going to waste any more time doing that, but let me quickly rush my way to where that goddess cube is, and, and we'll do that as well. So that way, this oh, is yeah, the one right next yeah. to the great tree, right? There's a goddess yes. cube. Is that the one you're thinking of? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm. And speaking of the great tree, yeah, it's right here. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah. yeah that's an ascend I location right there. Yeah, right. <laughs> You'd have to first make a platform, you like uh, use an ice fruit or something, and then yeah. stand underneath it, and then it's done. <laughs> um, but okay. Oh. There we go. Nice. Let's, uh, let's see what this gives us. Because, yeah, this is something we could have gotten after jumping off the great tree, but I just mislanded and um, did not get it. But... Now we have so many goddess cubes that we can get, so we're gonna focus on that after. But for now, we're good. Let's go ahead and start. Wait, I keep man. How do I forget which button does what? Let's upgrade this. So I want to make sure we view it one last time before it's over. But actually, instead of making my way to a bird statue, I made sure like to literally get this for this video. Let's use it. We're gonna use the Zelda amiibo for those wondering. Hey. Um. Yeah, but definitely one of the more useful uh, amiibo functionalities in a Zelda game. The the How Zelda and Loftwing, Loftwing amiibo. Um, yeah, I've never used actually, it, to be honest. Yeah, I think I used it once when this game came out. Um, so what do you do? Go to options? Uh, amiibo? Oh, don't oh, there you go. go. Yeah, you need to turn it on. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now, do now you get like, an amiibo button, or...? Nah, it probably just works. Or... Oh, okay, what? yeah. No? I'm putting it on. I mean, sometimes I know the, it doesn't register properly. It should have registered. Um, how do I use this? Yeah. Yeah, use Amiibo. Toggles. Uh, okay. uh, if you call Fi. Should have registered. Oh, that. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Use Amiibo. How does this work? Oh, now just place it on. Okay. There we go. I wonder if you, what happens when you use other Amiibo. Do, do they do anything? Do you know? I never tried, honestly, but there we go. Oh, it's a no, Silent I've Realm animation. It, Nintendo even reused that as well. See, that's literally the Silent ah, Realm animation, I yeah. believe. Um, yeah, definitely one of mo the more useful amiibo things. Like, uh, Breath of the Wild, usually you just get an assortment of materials. I mean, that's, and occasionally be nah, that's, that's better in my eyes. I don't know. I think that this is is quite a nice time save in some some instances. Yeah, but it's silly. Um, they they could have done something more. I would have rather had like with what the new Tears of the Kingdom amiibo do. This one give you a different paraglider skin. Like imagine right now, see, we'd have something else that's reminiscent of Zelda or something cool like that. Um, something more reminiscent of Zelda cloth. than Zelda's sailcloth. The sailcloth. Mm. Yes. <laughs> like maybe make it pink. I mean, because I'm literally looking at the amiibo, and I mean. Was it blue? It was blue and white, right? Yeah. I like. I just saw it and I it already. Yeah, <laughs> already <laughs> forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, All come right. On, anyway, upgrade our shield. <laughs> uh, but either way, yeah, it would have been cool to get something else. Is my point, you know? Mm. Outside of just yeah, being able to. There we go. Oh yeah, this is what we've been working for. I am excited, and thank God we have the dusk relics for it. Um, so we can't go back, and I don't want to go back. Here we go. 
the best shield in the game, hands down. Here we go. Nice. There we, we go. A little statue of the goddess head on it. And, uh, oh. Yeah, very cool. And um, mm -hmm. I think this will have a bit more HP as well, but a bit harder yep. to break. Um, I, let's go ahead and... I don't know why yeah, it unequips it, it but there we go. Is it a bit nice more HP one. or is it just faster regen? I I, see, I don't pay attention a lot of the time to the text. <laughs> oh yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look like a, a wider HP bar. Um, could be it could be or it could just be faster <clears throat> regen. Uh, one or the, either way, the shield will last us for good. It it will be yeah. definitely worth it. Um, yeah. But okay. Let's go ahead and now. Uh, I guess before we make our way back to Lanayru, I know there are a bunch of other things we can do side quest wise. Like we, we still haven't even scratched the sky. I'm gonna say surface, but I'm trying to make a pun. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got, uh, I'm picking up what you're laying down. That's, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> um, we haven't scratched the sky on the on the the side quest to do on Skyloft. Yeah. So. I don't, was there was there one more thing you wanted to do up here before we head to Lanayru? Or, or yeah, it was the see? goddess cubes. Oh, of course. Let, yeah, yeah. Let's All just right, quickly round them up since we got a bunch of them recently. Um, and I guess yeah, these are the birds probably that we see in the Isle of Song cutscenes when Link plays stuff. I think so because you know those are like the low poly characters that um, have just generic birds. Like they don't, you know, they're they're not characters that are even given names, nor are they birds based off of anything. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Hey, nice. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Hopefully we'd have been all right now good. anyway with the with the hook shot. The, the heart cool metal? Shots, no, heart P. Yeah, that's still, all right. Still good. Yeah. And I think... Oh, yeah. Play someone, there. That'll yeah. be a... Yeah. I think every time we see him, we should consider it. Yeah. So if it's not something on the wall, it's a... Um, I think it should spit something at you. Yeah. Hey, nice. Uh, Ishika... uh, give him a whip now as well. Now yeah. we've got the whip. Oh, yeah. True, Try... True. Because we've tried the bomb. Um, oh. We... Okay. That was a little What's bit that? boring. Uh, uh, what else? What else? Yeah. You can bl yeah, use the... I think all of them have a... Okay, that's quite <laughs> boring as well. Yeah. See, see um, the uh, the gust bellows. Come on. If let's see if it yeah, we'll stop. flatters it. Oh, okay, it's the opposite of Pippet's okay. mom. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> like it. <laughs> it doesn't like that. <laughs> yeah. Can we catch it? No, okay. I'm, now I'm just pushing it. Uh, let's, you know, let's just send it off. Let's do it, yeah, oh. for old time's sake. Oh, and it's perfect, because it, there's literally an area for it to, like, blast off. Oh, yeah. All right. Up you go to space. You know, one day, come back to this video when it happens, when we're riding a Sheikah rocket ship in the next Zelda game <laughs> to space. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me, honestly. <laughs> That would be so cool. I really do hope that happens. I know a lot of people would be like, oh, that's too sci-fi. That's taking it too far. I don't know. I think Nintendo can do it justice and can still have the Zelda aesthetic and appeal that, you know, that stays true in the series. I I I'd love to yeah. see that. Yeah. Because I think we we've both talked about whether we want Zelda to stay fantasy or explore sci-fi a bit more. And I know mm. we both agree that we do prefer kind of high fantasy setting for Zelda, but... You know, it can experiment, it can do other things. Maybe, maybe we will go to space. Who knows? Yep. Like, that's the thing about Zelda is it's always got this kind of quirky charm, no matter what the setting is or the story is. Um, yep. So I think and even if they do something completely wild like Space Zelda, it will still feel like Zelda. It'll still have that soul. Yep. Because even though a lot of people hate on Tears of the Kingdom, I still feel like it, it feels like a Zelda game at its core. And yeah, I incorporated a lot of weird stuff with the building and everything. But nah, I mean, Nintendo finds a pretty good balance. So I'm not worried at all. And wait, what? Um, oh, it's there's three chests. Of this man, this, this, this island's dense with chests. Yeah. Where is it? It's not here. It's not there. Um, um, it's not this one, yeah. Uh, I want to ascend up here right now and just like <laughs> scout from there. Okay. Maybe it's... I don't know. I genuinely d don't know. Is it on top? Like, what not the hell? The Where is it? Yeah, weird. Mm. Not below it somehow. If you go below, there's no like secret ledge down there or something, is there? Well, let's see. Wow, okay, maybe I went too low. Okay. <laughs> Wish there was a map that was. Uh, yeah, I don't even know where the island is now. Yeah. 
Let's reposition ourselves. Huh? Or did I go too high? Okay, there we go. There it is. No, there, there it is. So. Oh, there is! I see it. Yes, okay, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, perfect. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, we just need a better view of it. So, okay, hang down. Yeah. There we go. That's interesting. Yeah, there's a little... They, they didn't want to make more islands. They're like, you know, one island will have three chests on it, which I wish there were more islands to explore. But oh, nice. Good thing I had an inventory slot opened sweet. up. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Literally a whole heart container just from that. No, I agree with you about the amount of islands. I remember um, me and one of my brothers specifically. But the, I remember I, I said in one of the podcasts about how me and my brothers used to just spend ages just sailing around the Wind Waker's Great Sea and not really doing the quest, but just, you know, enjoying the world and all its massive amount of islands. And yep. I remember when Skyward Sword was coming out and they were talking about the sky and they basically said it was similar to the Wind Waker's Great Sea, but this time it's uh, an island of, uh, uh, sorry, a sea of floating islands above the clouds. And we thought, you know, what could be better than that? Sounds absolutely perfect. And it just isn't quite there. There's just not as many oh, islands, yeah. the islands that close. do exist don't have nothing. enough to do on them that yep. you know it really isn't quite the same level as the wind wakers not even not even the, yeah cl no, but not even close like that was in they they overstated like they 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 must have been like just giving an example of like how how it may feel to travel or something but no the i mean what are these islands literally look at them they're all just rocks no, nothing exists outside of skyloft except like literally a few small yeah. gimmicky islands it is ridiculous like it's, yeah the wind waker had so much so much this is a bit like kind of tears of the kingdom isn't it well there's one big interesting island and then a load of little ones that are a bit right inconsequential True. That was actually one of the biggest letdowns when it came to Tears of the Kingdom Sky, because we were like, oh, Nintendo finally has the hardware and capability of giving us a proper sky that's above Hyrule, and it's like, oh, it's pretty much, if not exactly the same. Yeah, I mean, it's better. The, the archipelagos are definitely, they have more variety and things to do throughout them, but still, it was a letdown. Wind Waker definitely did it best with the Great Sea, I mean, because outside even the small little islands that were just there, you know, you go on and leave, there were, you know, multiple, like from Dragon Roost to Windfall to Outset, like literally multiple islands that had civilization on and that you could explore yep. and, you know, familiarize yourself. Fair oh, um, it wasn't called Faron, but a ha Forest Haven, Forest whatever. Haven. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, just so much. It, it was so much better. Exactly. Uh, this and is what like just Skylove. And what we got with Wind Waker as well was kind of a, a really neutered version of what they planned for. They planned for so many more islands. Um, mm -hmm. Like there's, there's concept art for something called Stovepipe Island, which would, would oh, have been wow. another, another kind of town, um, kind of similar mm. to, to Dragon Roost on a, on a kind of volcanic slope. Um, so yeah, what we saw in Wind Waker, as fantastic as it is, Oops. that's that's not what they wanted they wanted so many more islands as well and just imagine how what it could have been if they had the development time or whatever the the, the cutoff point was mm -hmm. yeah um hopefully we like again i and Another i've said medal, this many times oh wait but this one gives you more hearts it's not a life medal so it's mm -hmm. fine uh and it was sad. okay so there you go you know it does it can send immediately to the item check i guess if you buy something you can't i'm not entirely sure like beetle won't let right. you um <gasps> Whoa, okay, that was kind Whoa. of cool. <laughs> That was pretty slick. <laughs> yeah. All right, now, I feel like, again, while there's still more to do, let's just focus on Lanera. We've, we've gotten a decent amount done. It's definitely something you want to do after each dungeon. You, you want to be able to, like, get some stuff done. And I feel like we're doing pretty well for, like, not really going out of our way, per se, to 100% the game. Like, we definitely have a lot of hearts, and there's still a decent amount to get from dungeons. Yeah. So. Cause I, you said it a few episodes ago, uh, and I completely agree that it's, we're not we're not sure yet if we're gonna like deliberately 100% the game and get every little secret. But doing the side quest and doing the mini games and stuff that is still kind of at the core of what Zelda's about. It's not just the main quest. You know, the side quests are still so important to the identity of a Zelda game and having fun with a Zelda game. We're not going to rush through these. We are playing them to kind of. Um, you know, rediscover these games and, and go through them um, game by game and discuss every little bit uh, of mm -hmm. these stories. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do the side content too, just maybe not all of it, we'll see. Yeah, like maybe not that stupid mini game 
over on Fun Fun Island, more like Dodo. Yeah, yeah. I can't think. Of, I can't think of something witty enough. <laughs> Stupid dumb island. <laughs> okay, that was horrible. <laughs> That was incredibly witty, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> All Don't right, really uh, pleased with that one. Okay, let's <laughs> let's drop oh, into yeah. the desert. Um, okay, well, I landed. I'm not too comfortable with the overview map, but eh, close enough. Either way, our goal is to make our way to um, this. Yes, it's area uh, here or something. That here. it's where you've got the cursor. Yeah, there's yeah. um. We've got a new Those area a now. Mark. We've got the claw shots. Yep. Exactly. Um, and I think we got everything we can just pick up with the claw shot that's like chest wise here. So we just need to rush there. Yeah, I think we did a pretty good first pass of the area as soon as we got the mm -hmm. claw shots. If we are yep. missing anything, I'm sure we'll, we'll rediscover it. As with all the areas, this isn't the last time we'll be in the, the Lanayru Desert. We kind of always run through these areas. Yep. This might be the last time we'll need to be here, per se. Like, we won't need to be in this open area anymore. Like, because, yeah, from now on, we're going to be exploring in there, which is exciting. Which um, is one of the... A uh, very cool area, actually. Oh, yeah. No. The Okay. Well, speaking of Wind Waker, we do get a little Wind Waker vibe in this upcoming area. It's so, so cool. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, super excited for it. Um, nice. Oh, yeah, I just forgot. I'm, I'm not even appreciating the shield enough. Like... We got the best right. shield we can get. Yeah, I gotta exactly. make sure. Exactly. Now it now it would make sense for the the cursed bokoblins to retreat from us. That oh yeah, showing the, the goddess, the goddess herself. herself, the face yeah. of the goddess. Yeah, <laughs> that's so true. Oh, did I not push this? Or I guess I can't yet. It's fine. I probably can hook shot to this. Yeah, can we from make here? it? From yeah. Here? yeah. Nice. Yep. Yeah. There we go. And I, I probably wanted to <laughs> um, land here. See, if I was more familiarized with the way the map looked on the, um, <laughs> you know, overworld, I would have landed here. Like, there's literally a uh, bird statue here, but whatever. I didn't take oh, too well, long. We're here, yeah, we're here now. We're here now. Yep. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, we let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, this is so cool. I was, I'm not going to lie. This was probably the most excitement I had when revisiting an area was discovering the, this new area because it mm -hmm. actually added a decent amount compared to all the other areas you re-explore. Ah, yeah, another Goron now. This so this is oh, it's a different um, one. Yeah, Gosko this isn't Gorka. This is I think yeah. Golo. This Golo, I think. Um, uh huh. Oh wait, well, yeah, you know, butterflies. You want to try playing yep. the harp? There we go. <laughs> okay, uh, what we got? Again, uh, another yeah, ghost. probably just some us? random. Yeah, anything. Just I'll take. It. Oh, ooh, that's ooh, actually pretty good. Evil crystal. Nice. Yeah. Um. So okay, before we speak to him, actually. Kind of annoyed about the missing heart, so let me just. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Cover it, and then um, what is this actually? This is just a chest that you don't even have to try for. Oh, okay, because that's oh, a monster horn. Okay. Um, wait, is she? Is oh, she really telling me this telling at us this point in the game? Oh, but with about the whip. Oh, uh, right. Okay. And cool. that is useful because um, yeah, we're gonna definitely utilize that a lot more. Yeah. What's that uh, little plaque on the wall over there? Oh, uh, here, I'll read right. it. Okay. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Didn't want to mess that's that true. Up. Yeah, oh. there hasn't been a, a ZM bombing himself for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a little more comfortable with that at least. But still, I can't figure out the menu. No, no, no don't. You're going to suicide. Okay. <laughs> Who's going to run into that explosion? Like, let me catch <laughs> yeah. you instead and sell you on the black market. Don't. Kill yourself. That's a mu much nicer know. fate for him. Right, I don't know which <laughs> Stritch's collection somewhere. <laughs> okay, let's just speak to him first. Okay. Oh, yeah, so. Yeah, Golo. Golo. Yeah, it is Golo. Oh, oh Legend of the I Three Golo. Dragons. Uh -huh. Well, he is digging in the right direction, I guess. Um, yeah. So is, is, is he familiar with the other Gorons? Because, I mean. I know, obviously, Gako makes his way here to Lanero, and then there's one. Actually, they're all technically maybe because of the 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 climate, it makes sense <clears throat> for them to choose to live here over anywhere else. Because even the last Goron, hot. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. though it's Lanero, um, you would you think it'd be Elden? Actually, but Elden would have made it way more sense still because that's where they're from. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but yeah, there is another Goron here later on. There's a uh, Gortram, mm -hmm. the guy with all the mine carts. Yep. So yeah, it does seem like a bit of a, a Goron heavy area. So, oh yeah, of course we get a, a small key from this guy. Mm -hmm. Cool. Oh, this kind of reminds me of um, 
but it, it, w it was I'm gonna be honest Minish Cap did it better this, like this Goron is breaking away with with a little pickaxe oh like, true yeah bro, it feels use like your, we use need those to, fists we need to do a f uh, kinstone fusion and then it'll punch his way through the wall yeah right at least they punch their, it's a lot cooler in, in Minish Cap how they literally just punch their way through yeah right uh, yeah Gorons don't need pickaxes they're, right they're Gorons <laughs> they're, they are the pickaxe <laughs> I mean, they eat this for breakfast. So, like, what is he doing? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but okay, probably just some more Ooh. rupees down here. But why not? Yeah. Oh, again? Oh, okay. Right. Let's. Well, I mean, <laughs> my, my, my better be we'll something good. Yeah. yeah. What have we got? You know oh, what? Yeah, we are standing here. next to infinite bombs, aren't we? Oh yeah. See, they oh, literally yeah. do so this So they always place them below a little a convenient <laughs> yeah. hole. Oh, what? And I missed that. Pro Do you think as I walked away, it didn't like... Nah. What? Yeah, what happened there? Why didn't it register? Yeah, that was weird. Oh, he came back. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, he like, regrows out of the ground. <gasps> what? Is Frank what is not happening looking with these... at it? You think so? Well, I, it must be, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, watch it. Yeah. I will keep my eye on it. Either that yep, or just wow. indestructible pots. There we go. Yeah, that was weird. That must have been it. The game just doesn't a, register. A video game moment, that one. Mm hmm Okay, so with the key, so, we yeah, can move uh, on. I don't think we Read this do plaque on the wall. I want oh, to yeah, see what true. this says. True. Okay. Ahead is Lanary Mine. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. Who's... Who, wait. It is there that huh? I will solve the mystery of the time. Who's saying stones? that? I don't... Yeah, this is... I don't know. Uh, in first zoom person. into Zoom into the plaque itself. Let's see what... Oh, it's the okay, first is. time shift crystal we come across. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. And um, yeah. what does this say? That's Hylian, so that will be translatable. I think the the one below it that looks like that's also Hylian, but I wonder if that's too small real, to translate. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably too hard. But whatever it is at the top, that's definitely going to be translatable. Um, probably I'm the text sure underneath it literally it. says what it says. Like Link is probably just reading it in Hylian. Oh, maybe, right. yeah. That would make sense. Okay, so this is a shortcut back to the main, yeah, the beginning area. Is yeah. there is there a reason I would want to do this? Is there like a maybe a chest? Uh, a goddess chest? Well, I mean, we'll always be able to come back. Yeah, okay. Let's Spider-Man our way across then. Screw it. This is always so fun to see, anyways. So I'm not complaining. Yeah, th this is great. Mm -hmm. But um. Yeah, Twilight Princess introduced this, and sadly, I think no other Zelda game has ever had this return. The double claw shots, no. Yeah. Um, just those two. Um, mm. Oh, right. Yeah, no, there is there is yeah, nothing. Just, uh, yeah, I know, okay. there's a chest. Oh, there's a yeah, chest, yeah, but, but there's no... As in, now we're just in the starting area. We could have hookshotted up here directly from the start. True, um, true. Okay, I forgot these Octoroks are... Not wanting to mess with you if you come too close, or you know, scummy people. You know, they just gotta shoot. Isn't right? literally some of them are actual sentient? Ooh, like, okay. um, we're doing well on the evil crystals. Yeah, nice. Yeah, uh, but some of them are sentient. Like, um, they have uh, thoughts of their own. They can speak. Like, the, I mean, I'm thinking of Minish Cap. There's literally like a, a seller. No, and an Ocarina of Time <clears throat> in Majora's Mask, right? Oh like, I guess no, should... wait. You're thinking of Deku Scrubs again. Deku Scrubs. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Even, yeah, oh, yeah. true. Why do I always confuse Wee. the two? I guess because they... <laughs> they are so similar in this game. They especially. replace... Yeah, they replace them essentially with being that annoying thing that sprouts out of the ground and shoots you. Um, yeah. And then Breath of the Wild just made them even more annoying. Octoroks yeah. in Breath of the Wild are so, so annoying. Oh, yeah, because they have insane... Uh, they can shoot you from a mile away. And they're Perfect so branding. accurate. They yeah. never miss. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is, um, like, it's funny, though. I mean, I, I do like the concept of how, like, they, they really evolved them to something way more annoying. But again, yeah, I guess I would have liked to see um, Deku Scrubs return. Or just even Deku Scrubs in this game. I miss the yeah. little dudes. Yeah, because you're right. Deku Scrubs are cool because they, they are sentient or sapient or whatever. You can, mm -hmm. once even you Even though some of them, them are bit. evil. Oh, yeah. And yeah. even the ones that aren't evil, they're you know quite uh, quite assholes, cap <laughs> capitalist, and they'll uh, yeah. you know they'll try and s fleece you and sell you expensive things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess just in their nature, they're oh yeah, but okay. Anyways, wow, here we this. go. Yeah, I think uh, we're gonna get a nice pan shot of it, right? Yeah, literally. 
This was once an ocean. And look at that. And luckily you can explore it all. Like you see those areas yeah. in the distance and it's like you can reach that. The Lanero Sand Sea. Like, wow. Amazing. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. There's more of those silly... Uh, I keep wanting to say constructs. Just robot. Ancient robot Oh, builds. yeah, yeah. Well, the one we've come out of looks quite a lot like Skipper, who's a particular ancient robot we'll meet very soon. Yep. Um, oh, wait, I'm pretty sure... Wait, if you pull out the beetle, um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there's rupees in this, in the in the, the statue that we've just come out of, if you fly okay. up. I'll do that then right now. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. Let's go investigating. Yeah, I think it's uh, on his hat, like at the top, if we can okay. get up there without a despawning. Yeah, let's try. I think, yeah. Oh, was that too high? To... Yeah, are look, there... there they are. On ah, the edge, but... yeah, there's silver okay. rupees. Well, how do I do um, that without it despawning? Do I need to upgrade this yeah. again? Or maybe go this way? Yeah. Or, I not... or maybe you could do it if. Can you stand on top of those pillars? I don't think there's a way to get up maybe. there. Maybe. Right? That's probably the easier way. Okay. Come on, no! <laughs> so close. Okay, well, I don't think we can yeah. stand on these pillars. No. Um, whatever. Uh, but, okay, I'm going to try one more time because... Okay, that was inches away. Yeah, exactly. So, just got to... Maybe not spam the speed. What if the speed... I feel like it doesn't oh, take that... away... No, it doesn't. No, no. I think it's something to do with, like, distance from Link or something. <gasps> what? Oh. Okay, well, oh, what if... Im I don't know. Does the upgraded beetle have a, a longer range? It must have. Yeah. Maybe we need to do that then. Oh, are you kidding oh, me? Oh, that, that, that would have done it. I'm doing it again. I don't care. I'm stubborn. <laughs> this is honestly how I play games. If I wasn't recording, like even with the Fun Fun Island game, I would have never You'd still given be there up. now. <laughs> yeah. And, okay, now I'm giving oh, way. up. <laughs> what happened there? It's like I actually didn't mess it up. Whatever. Okay. You know what? Okay. For the we'll sake of recording. That. Yeah. Um, maybe. Okay. Well, we must be doing something wrong. Either you do upgrade it. If so. But if there's something else. And um, I guess for those who may know, please let us know. There's some things. Yeah. That either. Even if we've known before, we forget. So um, we would love to. Oh, that's cool. You can hear the, the bugs hissing. Um, yeah. But yeah, I would love a refresher on that because, I mean, that was just an easy 100 rupees that I, I just can't get. Yep. 200 if you get both as well. Yeah, well, I don't think the, the second one is even going to be possible, but okay. Nope. Okay. Uh, okay. I wanted to quickly do it before they... You can kill them. You can usually wow. kill most the of them quickly before. So yeah. yeah. Um... Okay, so, yeah, our goal is to activate this, but we gotta... Oh, there's a time shift crystal. We can do that immediately, but... Yep. Uh, I do believe there's something we can do here that I should maybe look into, uh, if I remember correctly. Right? I think so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't think you can climb up there, right? No. Uh, I can climb up here, uh, but okay, let, let's see what's inside these. Yeah. Oh! Oh, cool. I can still use that. Ant. Yep. Um, this probably won't give me anything either. Or will it? Okay, I thought oh, I was gonna okay. give me like a Another gust of bug. wind. I I do vividly remember though there is, or maybe we'll. Do I this remember later. there being something around here. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Um, there you go. Okay, nice, cool. Yeah. That, that is a Zelda thing. Um, th there is an obvious answer to what you're supposed to do. You just have to angle yourself in a different way and. Okay. Ooh. Load of arakas. Oh yeah, this is kind of foreshadowing what we're gonna see later on as well. Yeah, you're right. Of course. Yeah, we, we find our second Molder arc quite soon. Mhm. Mm uh, but yeah, there you go. Nice goddess cube. Oh. Okay. It makes me wonder. Do, do you think the goddess cubes? Wait, is that is that below like a gap in the roof? It is. Yeah. Do yeah. you reckon all the goddess cubes fell from the sky then? Is that the implication? Because they're yeah, all... Yeah, that must be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we send them back up to the sky, but I don't know how they, the activating chest part makes any sense, but something for the player to be rewarded with for the reference, I guess. Yeah, because the thing with Tears the Ki uh, with um, Skyward Sword is it's, it's very much like Breath of the Wild in that most of what Link is doing is part of a trial set before him by Hylia. A lot of it mm. is just proving his worth and 
tempering him into the ultimate hero or whatever. So yeah, things like the goddess chests and the goddess cubes, you can assume, is all left for him by the goddess as part of her great plan. Yep. But there we go, we revert a section of the sand and it turns into the ancient ocean. Which, yeah. like, how much cooler can you get? Right? Again, I'm gonna, I said this many times, it's a shame though that the time shift, I like how it disappears so you can't revert your decision. Uh, oh no, yeah. it, it enters it, they're like, yeah, let's keep it. Yeah, otherwise it, you can turn it off and just get kind of <laughs> stuck in the sand somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, like I, I just wish there was a big one in the center that would have reverted the whole area because the little, like just being able to see all of this covered in sea, like damn, that'd be so cool. But anyways, yeah. let's but anyway, here's Skipper, captain. who's a, a really yep. cool character. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, probably has like the coolest Easter eggs uh, <clears throat> here. <laughs> I'm excited to show that off. Oh, in uh, in Skipper's oh. retreat, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to that quite soon. Oh, but um, yeah, he's another. So LD three o one N. Um, mm -hmm. not really sure what the three o one N would stand for. Yeah. No clue, but I Skipper. I mean, at least he, he goes by another name as well. Skipper, Scrapper. Skipper makes sense, yeah. yeah, they have um, it's very similar names. Uh, I'm trying to think. Is that something you'd oh, yeah. call? I feel like. Is Skipper, there another Scrapper? named ancient robot? Not sure. I don't think there is, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah, we got to make our way to Nehru's Flame. He's mentioning it, protecting it. So let's, uh, let's hop in. All right, here we go. Yeah, this to me is so cool. I love it. Okay, and we need to get the sea chart in his shack. So, let's go. Yeah, the closest thing let's we get to, to Wind Skipper's Waker. Crib. And there's more things to explore here than there is in the sky. In terms of like, <laughs> there's like more than Actually, one yeah. island. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but okay. Oh, and you get the cannon too. I forgot. Yeah, because there are some enemies in the water. Man, this is so cool. It's just, yeah, there it's we go. so cool. It's so, it's so Zelda as well. It's like, what if we had... Uh, you know, a, a big ocean section where the player can explore on a boat. Mm -hmm. But no, it needs to have a Zelda twist. What if that sea is actually thousands of years in the past and we only have a bubble of the past that we carry around on a boat and in the yep. present it's all just a, a, a desert of sand. It's great. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. They just take in concept. They, it's really cool. Exactly. They just take concepts stuff. that you know you, you you would see in a, in any any old game and they give it this kind of Zelda twist. Oh yeah, we can speed up. Yeah, I we get a boost mode. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, still, I wish we could enjoy it all. I don't like seeing the just little up ahead. It's back to sand. It's it's just yeah. a shame. I think I like that. I think that's why it's cool. Really? I think you get to see, yeah, because you see just little bits of the past, which kind of teases you. Mm hmm. But yeah, here we go. This is Skipper's crib, and it's quite a nice <laughs> place. He's got a giant statue of his head. As, yep. uh, we a all house, like to have in also our with his face. I mean, to be fair, Groot <laughs> does have a, a giant picture of himself in his room. So. True. I mean, that's something <laughs> people actually do. This is uh, no one could do having statues like this of themselves. Maybe back in the day, even not even right. Like this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> a canyon carved into your liking. Right. But. It's a bit of an ego thing, I think. Right. <laughs> <laughs> have a statue yeah. of yourself that big. Yeah. <laughs> But okay, let's do it. So yeah, th I do like this area though, because it is very, um, not parkour, but like, uh, it utilizes, I guess Lanayru in general kind of utilizes your, the way you move around, oh, you like, see, like timing your stamina. Kind of platformy a bit. Platformy, like, there we go, that's the word. But yeah, not, not along not, those lines. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Platforming. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and these are oh. reintroduced. They, they were uh, a popular thing. From the um, specifically in the sky city, city in the sky. Yep. These plants. They, they kind of remind me of like pe friendly shot, pea yeah. hats or something, like a pea hat yeah, right. or something. I wonder, wait, does can you target Let's them? See. Does Fi tell you what they are? Because they're not strictly enemies, really, are they? Yeah, they're not. But, um, I'll see if I can target one later on. Yeah, they do look like pea hats, though. I think if they're, if they're given any name, it'd be a pea yeah. hat. Yeah, right. Somehow Piats later on just became evil and chased you down. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm still not over the ones in Hyrule Field in Ocarina of Time from when I was a kid. Being chased around those, you know, the giant helicopter ones with their spinning blades. And they chase uh, you around. Yeah. Never no, ever yeah. got over that. 
They are terrifying, yeah. Um, and it's funny because they, whoa, they don't have wow. really a face. Okay, I hate when they're not when they're out of sync. Come on. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna <laughs> let him be. It's not even worth it. Yeah, I, I got I got at least one little che j jelly blob. So to me, that's a win. <laughs> I mean, they, <laughs> the way eat. they make a little boing. Yeah, yeah. I just noticed that too. There we go. Boing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we're inside his head or underneath it. So this is where I would want to ascend. As this well. is an ascent, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't unsee it once you've got Tears the Kingdom brain on. You can't go back to normal. Yep. Which is interesting because when you play that game for the first time, you always forget. Oh yeah, I can ascend. But once it's uh, in your head, you can't. Yeah, you can't revert back. Right? Yeah, um, the first first time I played the game for, for ages, I was just playing it exactly like Breath of the Wild. Um, it takes a while for the new abilities to, to click, but then when they do, it's just a whole different thing. Oh yeah, now we got one with a metal shield that we can't destroy. Yep. But so we can, we can still, yeah. Still sort them out mm -hmm. like that. Man, a red rupee for our troubles. Not too bad. Yep. And uh, well, this will take me back, but That's I think back doing to the, it... Yeah. But it will let me come back up, so maybe I should activate it, right? You think you want to activate it, I think? Or this might have been a mistake. No, no, no I'm <laughs> sure. I'm pre I'm, I'm, I remember being able to travel back on it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. obviously the thing was at the top me. last night. Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> no, you're, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Link looks Wee. hella silly just, yeah, holding on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, how do go. I get this? Oh, okay. oh, okay. Yeah, true. Uh, is... There's got to be a time shift stone somewhere, right? No, no, or... like this. Oh, no, we can cling on that. You, I thought that you was... Can't, yeah, it doesn't look like you can, but you can. I thought we'd have to, you know, turn that into green stuff in, in the past. Uh -huh. Yeah, here we go. Speaking of which, uh, some of the islands here in the Linear Sensi can be reverted back to the past almost in its entirety. Sadly, Skipper's Retreat, I guess, is just meant to be only in present time. Um... Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, like the pirate stronghold, there's a lot of time shift stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh... So, yeah, I, um, I'm also excited to get into Skipper's quarters. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's uh, not an innuendo. He, just, he does have <laughs> interesting things on his walls, though, which which would be good to see. Yep. Um, um, what's over there? Oh, it's an ancient flower. Oh, what? Look, yeah. there's an ancient flower that survived to the present day. Oh, and these. Okay, oh, wait, wait. oh, no, it's not an issue. That's a water thing, right? Oh, is it? No, is that? This, this is you. A pea hat. It is a pea hat. Pea hat. Oh, okay. Bro. Right. Well, well I'm we glad. I, I, I do. Yeah, that's so cool. So, yeah, with the whip, we'll like kind of, you know, send it flying. Of course. Which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was an ancient flower when I first saw it. No, 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 yeah. yeah it it is a pea hat. Yeah, that's really cool. Hat. That's cool. Yeah. And oh. this is one of the ones that flies, too. Like that Can moves I? around rather than just hobby. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to kill it, but wow, yeah, we kill it a lot faster with the sword upgrade. I actually want to use my whip on it and see if they drop anything. But, like, I guess what would they drop outside of a feather? There's not, like, a crimson feather you could pick up, right? So, yeah. Um, they're just meant to look cool without really having anything too unique. Uh, so these guys don't want me to... Wait, can you... I'm curious. Oh, <gasps> you can. Oh, you can. <laughs> wow. I know you can slice them. You can yeah. slice like a butterfly in half, uh, but um, yeah, it's cool that you can just hit them with a slingshot. It seems kind of cruel, you know, they're not doing you any harm. Um, wait, so, what? oh yeah, don't want to make that mistake. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's such a troll, that is. Oh, brilliant. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, we go. And then, yeah. it didn't, it didn't. Like, usually when you hit something, it, it stops working. But, like, that time I was able to hit the wall, and it was like, you know, I'll keep going for you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, look, we can uh, see the, uh, the the pirates. Is that the pirates? Oh, yeah. We can see in the distance. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it looks really cool. That's a, wait, um, or is that the port where we came from? I think that might be the port. Oh, it is the port. Okay, let's see. Where is where is the stronghold? <gasps> there. Oh, yeah. Be. Yeah, yeah. But either way, it's huge. It's insane how much they put into this. It's very... And imagine seeing, again, the water reflect with the sky, uh, even though the clouds aren't even... I like how it's just... It's not like Breath of the Wild where the clouds literally reflect the shadow, like, properly. This is yeah. not... This looks like gas. These look like <laughs> shadows of clouds. Like, they don't at all look the same. Yeah. 
Yeah, the sky does have a kind of weird yellow texture in Skyward uh -huh. Sword, which I've always found a bit odd. Um, yeah. yeah, like above now, like the clouds are slightly kind of yellowy, greeny. Kind of mm. looks more like the clouds you'd expect on Venus rather than uh, <laughs> Hyrule oh, yeah, you, Earth. Hyrule Earth? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, there is one interview with Miyamoto back in the day when he said, "Yes, yeah, on Earth." But um, oh yeah, Miyam yep. Miyamoto says a lot of a lot of stuff. <laughs> But I mean, that makes sense. Like, it's their Earth. You know, we, we, there's so many. Earth is a thing in so many fantasy games. You know, we just, Earth just means home planet, right? So you can just look at it that way. Not literally like, oh, we could find Hyrule and America's in like in the same <laughs> universe, yeah. right? Like, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. We're getting a lot of evil crystals at the moment. I don't know why they're so abundant yeah. in chests around this area. It, it, could, it must be some kind of meaning behind it, maybe. Um, this is very reminiscent of Twilight Princess. The whole timing, the P-hats, and uh, yeah. doing it like that. Well, okay, finally. Yeah. Here we go. Here's yeah, his anything, little house. Yeah, anything at the top? Outside of these uh, hissing... There's a bug on the wall, huh? Yeah. Let's, let's get it. Oh, there's a few of them, actually. Yeah. If I swipe this way... Oh, great, great. Okay. Whatever. Um, nothing <laughs> else, though. It's just for the bugs, I guess. Uh, okay, yeah. let's jump. Oh, wait. <gasps> I didn't activate the thing, bro. That would have been horrible. Oh, yeah, and okay, this is interesting. There's Zonai. Holy crap! <laughs> I'm kidding. Is that a Zonai swirl? <laughs> <laughs> but, what do you yeah. But, yeah, that's... Uh, so, that is a very abundant symbol all throughout the the sand sea it's, uh, it's all over the sand ship as oh, well okay. um yeah. and yeah it was kind of oh. reused in breath of the wild as the symbol especially that specifically is all around luralin village in breath mm -hmm. of the wild um and then yeah there's a, a kind of swirl pattern on all the zona ruins where yeah perhaps there is a connection or, or zelda does often reuse symbols uh in different ways um, uh -huh. but it's interesting nonetheless yep um, okay, so let me just make sure I showcase everything that we can find here. Oh, even the drawer is in the shape of them, or like has. I love the way drawers. even robots have little robot wardrobes. <laughs> yeah, right. Game. What are they gonna put in it? I guess there's circuits and. Well, let, let's let's find out. What has he put? In? <laughs> okay, yeah, let's check. Can we open it? Don't say you can't open things that you don't own. Are you kidding me, bro? It's a robot that dead. hasn't existed for like two thousand yeah. years. <laughs> We're really gonna be polite there, but okay. So before we um, what, what did we come here for, anyways? The chest. Oh, the, ch the chest, right? For the map. The C for the chart. C yeah. chart. Yeah. Okay. Let's open that up. But then let's actually take this room in because there's a lot of cool things about it. Um, yeah. So you remember in the Lanayru mining facility, there's some sort of ancient robot team photo uh, mm -hmm. up on the wall, which. There's the one, which, yeah, it seems there, that the ancient robots liked taking team photos, like this bottom yeah. one here. There's Skipper on the sand ship and his crew of a million ancient robots with him. Yep. Um, and then the best one is just right over Phi. Uh, the that best being one the, there. <laughs> the there Titanic. I'm the king of the world. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool to see, like... That's I so mean, great, yeah. Yeah, it's a great Easter egg. And then, I mean, this one's just very simplistic, I guess. Just, you know, one yeah. waving high. Yeah, photo of the uh, man himself, yeah. Yep. Uh, um, the, the sand ship, ship out at sea. Or, and what yeah, it looked what, like in the sea, yeah. Like, you could see how blue and beautiful it was. The sky was, looked like, it probably was blue. I don't know. Yeah, do you think it was still um, called the sand ship? Or was it just called the ship? Oh, true, right? Yeah, it, <laughs> it probably wasn't... <laughs> The sea ship, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, the water ship. Yeah. Uh, this is also uh, oh, oh during a sunset. Off into the sunset. Yeah. Whoa. Very, and very also, picturesque. It looks like they signed Ooh. off or something. Does everyone have Wait, that? Go, no. Go, yeah, go closer to that one. So it's like five Hylian letters. Uh -huh. Really Ooh. hard to tell what they are. Really I hard. I think with a bit of trial and error, I bet you could you could translate that. I might have a look at that at some point. I don't uh -huh. know who signed that. Some yeah. kind of robot artist. What, what's going on here? It's like a yeah. hiding in some barrels or something. <laughs> yeah, and just a giant anchor. Overall, yeah, giant just such a anchor. cool room. Um, this you can't do anything with. But again, just seeing more yeah. of their designs littered all throughout it. It's cool. Again, I personally wish they looked 
better than this because it, you know, knowing that they had such a history, that the fact that they lived a cra like a, a, a whole life like this at one point in time, it would have been cooler if they seemed more humanoid. I guess that's that's I guess my oh biggest yeah issue. wait another thing you can see on the on the wall itself uh, so behind oh. all the pictures um, oh yeah, look up from here you see it's kind of a map of uh, prehistoric oh. Laneru. Yeah, uh, with the whoa. water included and the different land masses and some sort of kind of roads or I assume train tracks or uh, uh, mine what do you think this tracks. Is? I the don't mining know. facility it's maybe. It's like yeah, a different color. Yeah. Oh, perhaps yeah, because there is that kind of radial design to the the main desert. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh huh. Um, I guess so. How to make how to microwave your bolts. your robot dinners know. or something? I don't yeah. Know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess yeah, yeah, this one we didn't see, just more of the sea. Just very cool room in general. Mm -hmm. um, yep, okay. I Before love things like that where, oh yeah, of course. Like, little bits, like this room didn't need to have much detail oh. in it. Uh-huh. Um, Wait, why is she telling me this? Yeah, I've never seen this before. Is this just yeah. if you sit on this chair? I guess. Is she, is she just telling us about the bugs that we bugs on top scared of off it, right? from the roof? Yeah. yeah. Is there any secret up here? This just looks like what you'd use your mirror shield for and like shine the sunlight, you know, hitting down here. It literally seems like that could yeah. have been a puzzle. The sunlight would come here during the day and then boom, you would shield it or something. Yeah. Is Oh, is that like a plane? Wait, look up. Oh, <gasps> yeah. yeah. It's like a, wow. Uh, what are they called? Like bi whale bi plane bifold or, planes or but something? With um, whale inspired almost. <laughs> Yeah, look, it's a plane shaped like a whale. Look at that. I've never noticed that. And what's that? Oh, oh the fish. captain's wheel. Yeah. Look, there's a there's a helicopter <gasps> fish. Helicopter fish, yeah. <laughs> wow, I've That's... never seen them before. Yeah. And what's that? Is that yeah, a UFO or something then? What's that one? This one? Yeah, I don't uh, know. I, th I thought it was like a sun It's dial a UFO. Or... Oh, it is. Oh, you're right. Know, it's, got little, it's got little windows. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, they... They were imagining some really futuristic things even back then. Um, yeah. But okay, I, I think we we definitely took everything we can take in, right? <laughs> the music yeah, oddly so. sounds more, you know, calmer, almost like the, the ambience behind it is, like, different, It is, right? yeah, we don't have the, um, I don't know what instrument it is, but when you step outside, you'll that hear kinda it's kind of like whistling. A, a, a flute. Yeah, 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 the whistle sound. Yeah. Yeah, so true. And I, I kind of like that. this. I like this more because it's it's a lot more common. Yeah, we yeah, right, look, see there immediately. There we go. And it kicks in. Yeah. And you hear the hissing of the. I guess that's why <laughs> yeah, they're kind of ruining said it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um. But okay. So the quickest. Yeah. There we go. We we gotta. We can make create another shortcut. Nice. Uh. So did we, we explore everything we can explore? <laughs> I think so. Um, okay. Yeah, because there's no reason to come back here, right, afterwards. I yeah, think we've got You know everything. what? Let me whip his butt. Of course. Oh, really nothing? He likes it. He <laughs> does. Look, like... Well, you can tell by the <laughs> nipple tassels that he's into. Yeah, that, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> oh, there is anyway. a chest over here. <laughs> There's like some chest here that I just somehow oh, yeah. missed out on. Should I try to get? Let's try to get that quick before we like kind of end okay. things off here. Um, it's gonna be another uh, evil crystal, isn't it? <laughs> could be. But wait, maybe I have to jump down. Oh, oh, you do. That's that's a, that's a platform. Oh. oh, that's a diving well, let's platform. Just, let's let's zip line back up. Yep. Luckily, we can just do that. Um. Yeah, I definitely want to see what it is. I doubt it's a piece of art. I feel like I would, like, when it's a piece of art, you could really like just. It, it's hard to forget that if that chest is if it's important or not, you know. But then I might yeah. be wrong, and I'd love to be proven wrong right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's have a look. And yeah, it's crazy how much you scale. Actually, when you look back down, it's like wow, we were literally just down there seconds ago. Um, it's a really nice yeah. way of progression. I, I can't deny it. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, here we go. Jump of faith. So, okay, don't go too far so I don't start diving. Okay. Come on. Ah, oh, good. God. Whoa, Ooh. all of a sudden he started yeah. moving way <laughs> Lurch faster. to the left of it there. Okay, yeah. let's see what this is. Oh, and it kind of looks like there's a sunset with the... Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, it could, it could yeah. be worse. 
But when he was opening up the chest, the the cloud turned orange and it actually looked like a sunset. And again, it just yeah. makes me sad that there's no day and night. I know I'm gonna say that a lot, but like, it's true though. I'm just it salty. Yeah. yeah, it's such a little thing, but it adds so much to immersing yourself in a world if, if mm -hmm. there's a day and night cycle. Ah, uh, was a mistake. Come on, come on, come on. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Oh, so close. I'm, you're like pixels away. Yeah, it's fine. I I should have just literally hook shot. Or claw shot my way um, here, but um, nice. Okay. Yeah, I I think uh, so we still have. Acquired. Yeah, yeah, we we definitely still have more to do though. Like in terms of throughout this, really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Get away! Okay, what was that? I've never like Kinda never had this. Kind of me out when you're when you're up close to those things. Yeah. Damn, and yeah. I just wasted I, all that HP I got back was for nothing because I lost right. it all. Okay, whatever. Um, maybe we'll find some here. <gasps> Sweet. Come on, one more. There we go. Okay, we'll be missing one. Uh, it's fine. Uh, it's but fine. yeah, so we we got Skipper's um map, and now there's, there's still more to do, which is exciting. Before we actually open up the sand ship, because you can, I believe, do the pirates uh retreat or whatever it's called. Um. Uh, pirates fortress, pirates hideout, something like that. I think it might be. Yes. I want to say fortress. Uh, uh -huh. I can't remember. Either way, it's nice to know there's more to do outside of just rushing to the sand ship. So I think we'll be doing that next time. I guess it's a good uh, spot to end off. You know, we definitely explored a lot. I'm excited to explore more though. Again, this is like one of my favorite areas within the game, hands down. Because absolutely of, yeah, everything we said. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.